So you said the most powerful word in the world is what? Grace. 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 Oh, people, God is going to do something for you today. Yes. This is going to be your special day. Yes. And we're just so thrilled to have you here. You live just down the road of peace, as they say, up here in the hills. But you're from Springfield, Missouri. We are. And you've been pastoring there over 25 years, I think. Almost 28 now. 28 28 years. 28 years, hard to believe. Wow. And so you've been pastoring there, and you were a young guy when you no, went there. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying, Jim? Yeah, really? No, I mean, no. you were really young. How, how old were you when you went to Springfield? 29. And you'd already pastored. We had pastored out in western Kansas, and then we pioneered a church in the Kansas City area, and it was a rough go. Yeah. And so we really moved here feeling like a failure, honestly. Mm. And Not I, you. And I, well, yeah. And yeah. Debbie, when we, when we loaded up our U-Haul, we got in the truck, and before we took off from Kansas City, I said, we're going to go to Springfield, and we're going to give it a go. Mm. But if it doesn't work, I want to go back to law school. Wow. Because really, I'd lost, I'd lost sense of my calling, honestly. Mm-hmm. And it felt like such a failure mm. uh, in believing God and trusting God. And, you know, Kansas City was a, was a tough go. So we came to James River. And that's one of the things, you know, sometimes people look at something on the outside, and they think one way. And then when they hear the inside story, they realize it's much different than that. But we came here. I told the leadership council, because they'd been going for eight months. Yes. They had 82 people. Yes. And I told them, I said, listen, I'm tired. My wife's tired. I, I, please don't ask her to do anything for the next nine months. But if you're needing somebody who has a, has a vision for Springfield and can just excite people, I'm probably not your guy. Oh, um, no. wow. And you know, they hired me. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they would, um, you know. So how old were you when you came? 29. And you had two babies? We had three. So oh, our, the boy, two, had, three, the boy had already been born. Yeah, two, three, and four. Two boys, and our youngest is a daughter, Savannah, and she was four. So they were young, yeah. four, five, and six. And you came, the church, uh, James River, which everybody knows James River here. You know that. I mean, oh, and yeah. you have. One of the great churches and you have, in America. You have several campuses, actually. We do. We have, we have four campuses now. We just opened one in Joplin, but we have three in Springfield. That's so exciting. Wow. So exciting. I love it. It's, I love it. But you, you're, it was in a, a store building or something, it was, wasn't it? It was in a, a storefront, and they were just renting space. In fact, it started <laughs> next door to a tattoo parlor. <laughs> oh! And uh, so Who started all of this, right? This um, tattoo thing? It was four no. families that started, yeah. Can, no, but I mean this. Yeah. <laughs> no, the it. tattoo job. But the, I missed You it. know, but yeah. the, <laughs> you are reaching the youth, and you didn't even yeah. use the tattoo parlor next door. Yeah, it, it, it's the Lord just said his hand, you know, sometimes, and I think you understand this because of all you've seen. There's times the Lord just breathes yes. Yes. on something, and the result is something that defies human explanation, mm-hmm. wow. human quantification. That's, right. That's James River. God breathed on that church yeah. and raised up a church in really a small yeah. community. I mean, Springfield's not like the largest metropolis no. in the world, but uh, God breathed on it, and it's been really incredible.